So the use of topical steroids for children with eosinophilic esophagitis takes a number of different forms. Oral viscous budesonide is one of them and it was traditionally made with Splenda. There are other varieties of, of ways to get the medication to the esophagus itself and those have included uh, applesauce, um, honey, chocolate, and most recently a study that identified Nutra as a potential product. Um, all of these uh, have not been studied in the same way that budesonide has, and so we don't know whether or not they can actually help the esophagus get better, and we have not necessarily recommended them short of the use of Nutra. So the issue with budesonide is it comes as a liquid, so we have to thicken it so that it can stick to the esophagus, the food pipe, like you put cream on your skin. So it is obviously in the process, we do want to make it palatable and something that, that, that you could eat. But uh, so it's not so much a sweetening thing, but rather a thickening thing into a pureed consistency. The original studies looked at uh, uh, artificial sweeteners and uh, but some families have concerns about the amount of artificial sweetener they would be giving their child or themselves and uh, so as an alternative I have used applesauce uh, but again the whole concept is it could be any sauce like pear sauce or some other fruit sauce as long as the child is not allergic to that fruit. Um, there was a paper uh, in the recent past using a powder an amino acid based powder called Nutra as a, a base in which the palma cord could be mixed. So there are alternatives out there beyond.